Hey everybody, welcome back to Goes to 11's Women's Fishing Network. My name is Christine and I'm your Wednesday host. And today I am going to be tying a booby fly. March bass fishing is coming up. It's been a long winter. I haven't done nearly enough fishing. I don't know about you, but I'm done with it and I'm looking forward to spring. You're going to have to excuse the screaming in the background. My son is gaming right now. <laughs> I hope the holidays treated you well. I know that they can be hard on so many people. And I'd just like to say congratulations for making it. And I hope this year it treats us all so much better than the last year did. I look forward to seeing you here and connecting and sharing our content with you. So don't forget to check out the online store and the other ladies' videos and their blogs and the e-sign and our sponsor's products. Got some cool stuff. Got some cool stuff. Got beautiful tools, fly tying supplies, all kinds of fishing lures, all kinds of stuff. So um, yeah, stay with me and let's get this started. All right, here we go. So, throw a couple of wraps down here. I'm talking louder so you can't hear my son yelling, playing his game. <laughs> the One of the videos that I watched on um, the time booby flies, he um, actually threw a few thread wraps down and then continued to, sorry, um, then threw some head cement on and then tied on top of it. So this is not bad. If you can get your thread wraps fairly tight, it doesn't seem to be too, too bad. Okay, so I'm using Gemakatsu size four stingers because while well, it's pretty much the only decently sized hook I have around for bass flies. Um, I did fish bass on a bunch of smaller flies last year, like really small size hooks, like size 10 and size 12, but I found that the bass really kind of just tore their crap out of the booby flies. They didn't end up lasting very long, so I thought maybe if I use bigger booby flies this year, then maybe they won't be, maybe they won't be so hard on them, so. Oops. Just roughly tie in my marabou. Nothing fancy about the way I tie my flies. If you're looking for a competition fly tying, it's not here. Booby ties are pretty simple little fly. Okay, so change my mind I'm going with the what is it? Sherbert dubbing. I'm not great with the dubbing. Ouch! This is like my second time ever using dubbing material. Last time I used way too much and I didn't have my hackle when I went to put on my hackle at the very end didn't give my no myself enough room for that, so don't watch don't watch this too closely. It's not it's not great. Okay. So Thank you. 
Dyed guinea fowl. Very, very pretty. Apparently, there's a little tool you can use to make this easier, this part easier. But, um, get one from somewhere because hackle bites me not being able to hang on to it nicely it's not terrible but it's not great Awkward. I'm not professional by any means. Awkward. Hackle is hard. Okay. Okay. Doesn't look that bad. Fish. Okay, I'm finish. I am very excited to pack bass fishing. I've missed it terribly. Bass fishing on the fly is such a fun and exciting thing. And it's nice because they're a warm water fish. So when still water is too warm for the trout or when the rivers get too warm in the summer, you can always switch over to bass fishing and top water bass fishing is just amazing. There's nothing like it. Very, very exciting. Well, thanks for spending time with me. Um, hopefully my fly tying skills will keep getting a little tiny bit better, a little tiny bit at a time, and you won't have to suffer through too many more um, awkward and clumsy fly tying videos. Hopefully I will be out fishing on a river somewhere uh, or a lake very, very soon. Pray for me. And I hope that you get out. And I hope you get out fishing and I hope you get outside and I hope the weather cooperates and hope that life cooperates and, and I will see you soon. Take care everybody.